Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 39 of my Total Terraria World Annihilation. And looks like when I started uh, recording, I accidentally put myself into Thune Town. So you got to uh, take a brief look at my uh, house in Thune Town. I'm sure you'll get to see that again at some point in the relatively nearish future. Um, when I decide to um, take out the three mechanical bosses simultaneously, I'll probably do that in Thoom Town instead of here. Uh, mainly because of the fact that I don't want to have to deal with Plantera on this map. Um, and the Golem and the Lunar Events and whatnot. So. I'll probably just do that in the safety of Thune Town. Um, so this is going to be a relatively long cohort um, this time around. Um, the cohort's going to be a hour and 45 minutes. Um, so hopefully the content doesn't get too stale. Uh, I realize that the previous uh, cohort, even though it was short, it had pretty lame uh, content, and I apologize for that. Um, for what it's worth, um, either this video or next video I will defeat the Brain of Cthulhu. Uh, I'm hoping that's going to be this one, but it uh, might be next one. And I definitely don't hope that uh, I ended up going vertical for a while and it becomes neither of those, but um, I'm hoping that I waited until after defeating the Brain of Cthulhu before going vertical again. Uh, I kind of uh, streamlined how I did my uh, vertical uh, mining a bit um, in the process of this cohort. Um, I definitely, out of the um, gates, uh, do better than I did the previ in the previous cohorts, but I still kind of uh, come up with better ways to do things as I go, and I think I've got my system down now, so that's, that's going to be good. Um, I don't get to use my finalized system right away, and I'm not even sure if I do 100% um, of what I have planned for um, my system, um, even at the end of this cohort, but... Basically, I replaced the Space Dolphin machine gun with the uh, infinite water bucket, so that's going to uh, help out with some stuff. And, um, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, but since I'm now in voiceover mode, I can't do any uh, uh, recording mode until after that, so. Hopefully I'll remember all the uh, techniques that I came up with and whatnot. Um, in the previous cohort, as I mentioned a lot about the uh, differences in uh, you know, recording the OT8 guide and Counter-Strike in this, um, <coughs> there's one thing that's, uh, that was inconvenient about the OT8 guide. Um, the OT8 guide, I knew that it was going to be a very long uh, process, even with just the success recorded, that I uh, cut out all the deaths except for maybe two or three deaths. Um, now that I think about it, it's maybe actually four, because there might have been two deaths in one spot that I kept. Um, but in any case, um, I died a lot, and I was very transparent about that. So I, um, I mentioned in the OT8 guide that I was cutting out all my deaths, and uh, generally I like to be transparent with how I go about doing things. Um, so if I'm not showing something, I'm going to uh, talk about it. And uh, so we just got another one of those crimson hearts. Uh, so one more and we get brain. 
Um, so, uh, like, when I was uh, talking about the Dungeon Guardian, I told you about the time when I came in uh, without recording to um, set up the, uh, the minecart track, but then found out that I had a better way of going about doing it that didn't need minecart track at all, and so I had ended up killing the uh, Dungeon Guardian without um, uh, recording it, so I uh, made it known to you guys um, during uh, the video that I did all that stuff, or maybe one of the videos leading up to it. And, um, I fancy myself a scientist, so um, any good scientist is very uh, transparent with uh, their methodology and um, their uh, practices, uh, making sure that anything that uh, could invalidate their efforts um, is uh, made uh, known. That's a problem with bad scientists. Uh, they don't care about transparency. They they try to get the uh, the results that um, sound impressive and will give them prestige they don't deserve. Um, or worse yet, uh, there's the scientists that um, take the bribes from the corporations to um, to cheat the results into being how the corporation asks for it to be. So, good science and good scientists is above all those petty things and like to uh, make sure that uh, anything that is capable of discrediting the uh, study is um, out in the open for people to debate. Um, because a good scientist um, welcomes the challenge of being disproven and uh, welcomes the criticism of uh, not having um, you know, the appropriate uh, procedure or uh, methodology and basically uh, you would use that to formulate a better approach uh, one that uh, would uh, meet the uh, needed rigors to um, properly uh, hold up within the scientific community. Uh, I'm sorry, this is probably boring for uh, uh, many, of, uh, many of you guys, um, so I'll, I'll shut up about science for now. Uh, if there are people entertained by this, um, free to comment saying that uh, you like the science stuff and I'll come up with more science stuff to talk about, um, but um, I'm just going to generally assume that you guys don't really care. Um, anywho. So, long story short, um, the convenient bit about um, Total Terraria, World Annihilation, and um, my Counter-Strike stuff over the OT8 guide is I don't have to sift through hours upon hours of video, uh, watching it backwards um, so that I keep only the times that I don't die, and then uh, carefully, surgically remove everything else. Um, that added a considerable amount of time to the cutting phase. Um, for this, the cutting phase is really more so just a matter of finding the times where I'm going back to base and um, putting the contents of my inventory into a chest so that I can um, bump up the speed. Alright, that's all the time I have. I will see you next video.